Okay, let's go over there. Oh, comes to you think. Ah, let's have a look at this one. Uh, copper is extracted from the ore. Cal Cooperite. In three stage in a three stage process. In the first stage is the extraction. The Cal Cooperite is heated with silicon dioxide and oxygen. Balance the following equation for this first stage in which copper one sulfide is formed. Alright, let's have a look here. How how would what I address this? Let me uh move this a bit. So what I'm looking at it, and the thing that catches my eye first is there's no number in prior, so they've given us gaps. They've given us gaps to put um numbers in. But here, copper sulfide you don't have one. So I can't, you know, shove a two there. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of delete that two that I've just put in and because I can't shove a two there, let's get rid of two. That means that if I can't change that, I can only really have two copper cut copper atoms. So I've got two copper up and copper blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Let's try again. Two co copper atoms here. I must have two copper atoms here. We well, see, I can't change this. I can't. There's just absolutely no way. And this is my only source of iron ions. Well, how many iron ions have I got? Well, two. So then I must have two here. I mean, I have, there's no way I can alter that. All right. So then it goes a little bit trickier. Well, this is my only source of silicon. There's no silicon here, there's no silicon here, so this is silicon. So must have two atoms of silicon. If that's the case, this must be two there. All right. Well, now we're having a look at it and we think, okay, let's have a nausea. Let's have a nausea what's going on here, sulfur dioxide. So I can't count my oxygen yet because I don't know how many oxygen is it. On either side, I don't know how many atoms I've got there or how many atoms I've got there. That is in the sulfur. When I come across here, well do I know how many sulfurs I've got? Well yeah, I, this is the only source of sulfurs for my reactants and I've got well two in the species and and, and 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 two molecules of that so I must have four in total four sulfur dioxides. Hold on that doesn't look quite because I've forgotten Oopsie daisy, I've gone, forgotten, haven't I? There, I am thinking away. I haven't noticed what we're actually making. Copper sulfide. Can I just delete that for a moment? So there you go, make a mistake. I've got sulfur here. This is four, it's three. Alright, so that's three. Well, now I know all, I can find out all my options on this side. Uh, three times two is six. Three times three. I, I've got twelve options on this side. Well, how much have I got here? Four and twelve. So need eight more. Mm, four or two. Yeah, that's right. Okie dokie. Eight eight two. Give one environment reason why the SO two gas formed in this reaction is not allowed to escape. Acid rain. Do me. State one use for sulfur dioxide formed in this reaction. There's a whole host, but the only one I kind of really remember is the manufacture of sulfuric acid. Because sulfuric acid is, is, is quite a useful product. Which is other things as well. Um, plaster. The kind of, you know, there are those kinds of things. But the one I can really remember is the manufacture of H2SO4. Okay, not enough room to answer 8B, so I think I'll leave that one for, uh, for uh, the next little clip.